Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Nate. Our company is custom made by us. Today is finally Friday. Um, on today's video, we're going to do um, Will It DTF again. Uh, what we're going to do this time, though, is uh, on a paper bag. So we sell uh, little items behind me. You got tumblers and mugs, wine tumblers and stuff like that. So those items, a lot of it's local pickup. So my wife, she's very creative and likes to put things in different sized bags with, it kind of looks like a gift bag, a tissue and, you know, little stickers and stuff on it. Um, so. What I'm gonna do is print out a, a transfer and see if I can actually press some graphics onto the bag. That would be neat to have instead of uh, printing up stickers and putting them on here just to be able to press a DTF transfer would be nice too. So um, it looks like at that point it's more a part of the bag instead of just a sticker that's on the bag. So that's gonna be the process. I'm gonna get my graphic together in uh, Photoshop. Um, today's video is gonna be a lot quicker than the last one because I'm not going to show you the whole print process, curing, powdering, oven, oven cooking. Uh, we don't need to do that. So I'm going to get my graphic and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've printed out my graphic and it looks pretty good. There we go. So all I did was just our logo, a little thank you for your business, a little heart. Isn't that sweet? So let's go over to the press and see how it presses onto the bag. Looks like the wipe's got something here, but I'm gonna move it for just a minute. So because the bag has the handles in it, that means this portion of the bag's higher than this portion of the bag. Um, as well as this little flap down here at the bottom. So when you press on something, you want to make sure it's completely flat. So I'm not going to press with the handles inward. So those are going to be on the outside this way. Um, yes, that's weird though. You know what, I think when I pressed it last time I had the handles in. So anyways, I'm blabbering too much. So I'm going to have handles out, put my logo. Oh, that's weird. You know what it is? I didn't do the powder clear on this because I was like, you know what? I want as much adhesive powder on the back of this graphic as possible. Uh, but in doing so, now I can see little flakes of... Um, cured powder um, maybe that'll just kind of seep into the material we're gonna find out I'm gonna make a big deal out of it it's a bag <clears throat> so let's see so I'm gonna get this just eyeball you grab some tape I'm good at eyeballing sometimes okay that's off-center but I don't can't be too critical with this Let's go ahead and press this and see. No. I'm going to be critical. So one mil is centered. Name looks good. Okay. Now I'm happy. So handles out. It's putting it right at the top of the press. So that's kind of a bummer too. But I do have pressing pillows that I could probably use. But I just will do it this way. Let's just do it. Right? Let's just get it done. So 320 for 15 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do a hot peel on this. Oh, that was a bad idea. 
bad idea. I'm going to print another one and we're going to do a cold peel. That's what I should have done, but I'm just rushing. Just rushing it today. Trash. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm taking my time. Took a couple of drinks of my coffee. Made sure that I did a powder clear on this. Much better. Probably won't see it on the graphic, but no little flakes of powder anywhere. We're going to tape this on again. Just eyeballing it on the bag. I'm gonna come down more towards the middle. And then I use my fingers to get distance left to right. To me that looks good. A little bit of the heat tape. That looks good to me. Turn this guy around. That's going to be good. Let's press it. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Okay. Remember, last time I did a hot peel it was not ideal. Okay, So we're going to cool this down, give it some pressure, kind of push it into, into the uh, material. That's good. Don't disappoint me. Tape to come up. That's what I'm talking about. That's how she's supposed to look. Okay. I'm going to do a second press with my handy dandy rubber silicone thing that I got from stalls. Fifteen more seconds. I like this. This will be good for the hats on the hat press too. So, that's nice. Came out good. Bring this back on so I can see what it's saying. So, if you take your time, don't rush things. I was kind of rushing it. So, it's on there. I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm sure if you picked at it right now, it'd probably come off, but will it DTF? A brown paper bag? Yes, it will. So we have custom stickers that we print up that we normally put on the bag. So, but this, uh, I'll show you the difference. So that's, again, looks good on the bag there, but the stickers we print are these. And again, it just says, thank you for supporting our business. And then we put these on there that we print up our business logo. So, but today, again, another success. Two for O. So I think in the next um, video of Will It DTF, I'm probably gonna try some uh, either wood, metal, Maybe a piece of glass. You know, I'm just curious how all this stuff would work. Not that it's 
you know, primarily for us, I'm thinking about doing the coasters, you know, because we do the slate coasters, so it'd be nice to have full color coasters that um, you could use sublimation if they're coasters that are designed for sublimation, that they have a substrate that you can actually press into, which we don't. The coasters that we purchased are just ceramic coasters, so can't sub sublimate to those. So I'd like to at least use up that inventory and uh, print DTF graphics onto them, take them to our little events. People will buy them and uh, recoup some of those costs. Not a huge amount of money, but still, um, that's what we do. So thanks for watching this video. If uh, you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe to the channel. If you like my content, uh, press that like button and uh, click the notification bell so you can get notified when I post new videos. And as always, I appreciate you. See you next time.